Hello everyone, welcome Fadi in Ukraine and it is CA Trans Family interview on air. So Hello, how are you? We're fine and how are you? I'm very good, I'm so happy to be here. It's been a while, I don't remember when the last time I was here, six years ago. I remember when I was here last time I had hair, that's all I remember, so I don't know. It's been a while, I think. <laughs> that was uh, actually my first question about... What happened uh, to your hair? <laughs> As we know, uh, you had uh, an album uh, called uh, Beyond the Lights. Can you tell us uh, how you think uh, the um, fans react to the album? I think um, it was received really well. Uh, got so many messages uh, how people loved it. Uh, especially with the album track Beyond the Lights and uh, a lot of the vocal tracks also people really liked and some of the chill out stuff so uh, I think it was a really successful project, a really strong album and we're already working on the next one hopefully for next year so a lot of stuff coming up yeah. Wow, that's great. But in socials, I saw a lot of uh, comments uh, uh, about track Mountain Voices. Why uh, it's not in the track list of your last album? Uh, because it was released already uh, the year before, mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to have like more new stuff. Like we had more tracks finished, and we wanted to include more newer stuff, and that fits together to make the album, because the album is not about singles, mm -hmm. it's not about tracks itself, it's more about the journey you have in the album and the story you tell in the album. Mm -hmm. So, Million Voices didn't fit with the album, I, I, I would say, and uh, it was a great single, it was big, and it did it, what it was supposed to do, you know? It was a single release and that's it, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that all fans liked it a lot. And uh, talking about uh, the new album you're working on, can you tell us some more details? Well, uh, all I can say, um, it's, a, it's a very beautiful album, already finished a lot of tracks, which are very melodic, uh, great new melodies that we have created. So I think the whole idea about the next album will be all about the melodies and the music more than anything else. Yeah. You know, summer is a time when we have a lot of festivals and bands and so on. What is your favorite or what is the one that you uh, like marked for yourself this year? Well, I have to say there are a lot of amazing festivals all over the world, especially like you said in the summer. But I have to say that the number one festival in the world easily has to be Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland, Tomorrowland uh, uh, the thing about Tomorrowland uh, the production, the details they have in every single thing in that festival, the lineup, you can find all the music you want, you know, e trance, side trance, uh, techno, uh, progressive house, you can name it, even uh, of course the commercial stuff, the EDM and all the stuff, but you have everything that covers everything in the dance music and all the best of that in the dance music. And plus you have an amazing production and experience. It's out of this world, definitely. I would, I would recommend anyone who didn't do Tomorrowland, you have to do it. It's <laughs> okay. amazing. And talking about the releases, uh, I know you had uh, 300 releases on Future Sound of Egypt, and uh, the number 300 was your track with Emma Hewitt. Yep. What can you say about it? How do you feel to be number 300? Well, it's a, it's a long, <laughs> it was a long um, road we had. Uh, we have so many releases and um, I'm so happy that we reached uh, that level of quality releases uh, since we started the label. And now we have a big group of labels with the FSUE main label, Parallels, uh, UV, Clandestine and Fables. And I'm so happy how we have covering now a lot of genres in the dance music uh, which it used to be only uplifting trends years ago so I think now it's more wide and uh, I think a lot of people like that uh, diverse sound we have now. You now have a world tour called uh, A World Beyond, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, how you came up with the idea to um, uh, name it this way and to create it? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's the celebration tour for our Future Sound of Egypt 550 uh, radio show um, episodes. And we have every year a tour celebrating uh, every 50 episodes. So it's a yearly thing. And um, this year we're celebrating it in, uh, we have actually this month, end of this month, in UK in Manchester. We have a huge lineup, a huge production planned, 
and also we are celebrating in Egypt a week after that you know, uh, in the Red Sea so um, I'm really looking forward to that that's gonna be really really big yeah I know you work really hard on your uh, performance near the pyramids and now near the Red Sea. How you did it? How you made it to uh, have an event uh, there? Well, it was very hard. For example, for the pyramids, that was a very hard thing because uh, it's a very sensible place uh, and you work with the government. So uh, not everything is easy, you know, it's like you have to stick to the rules, really like you cannot do anything wrong. It has to be correct everything with the sound, with the light and everything. And uh, it actually went well, went smooth and it was an amazing event. Like one of the best I've done in my life, for sure. Mm -hmm. if, if not the best, for sure. Is there any chance to have uh, Fish Sounds of Egypt 600 here in Ukraine? I would love to. We've yeah. never done it here before. Let's see how it goes tonight and maybe we can uh, take it from there. Can you tell us what uh, guests today, your fans, uh, can wait from you to hear? Well, like I said, we finished a lot of new music, so I'll be playing a lot of new stuff, as usual, IDs. <laughs> and uh, today I'm doing kind of an open to close set, so I'm playing more than four hours tonight. So I'll be going showcasing the sound of FSOE now, which is uh, starting from progressive house to progressive trance, techno, going to the uplifting sound everything, covering everything. So it will be a nice journey and uh, hopefully they will enjoy it. It's my first time to do this in Ukraine, so I'm really excited. I'm sure they're gonna enjoy it. And what do you think about DJ uh, Mac uh, Top 100? It's a list. Um, it's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's kind of the list like where we have the most popular DJs on it. Um, it's a cool thing to be on it, uh, either you're high or not that high on it. At, at the end, it doesn't make a difference in my direction in the music. It's not like if I'm not doing well in that list, it means that I have to change my sound or anything. It's just a list. Uh, we still do the music the way we want and we, we stick to that. But if we do well in the DJ Mac, it's cool. It uh, give you, gives you uh, more exposure to more people and it helps. And how do you think uh, Digimac uh, uh, is more important for you or uh, you better watch uh, Transpodium uh, results? No, I would always always say like Transpodium for us is more, it, it makes more sense for us at least you know how you're doing in the trans scene because you know that the people who vote uh, in the Transpodium award, uh, awards are people who are into trans music only, mostly, I think. Mm -hmm. But the DJ Mac is totally different. It's, it's like you comparing um, McDonald's and Pizza Hut, you know, kind of, <laughs> thing, you know, pizza and a burger, you know, it's, it's two different yeah. things. You can compare this pizza and this pizza, yes. but you cannot compare, you know, and you know what I mean? Like there is like, like I said, it's more about popularity contest. It's mm -hmm. not about who is better than who. It's just popularity and who gets more, more votes and that's it. Talking about your uh, personal life, I know that uh, most DJs have to living with family and traveling around the world to perform. Yeah. How you do it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, it's a very tough one. It's the most thing that I hate about my music life or my work, let's say, con let's call it work being away from my family, especially when I have kids now. That's the worst thing. When I leave home, it's the worst thing. But it's also, I do something that I really love. So it's it's either this or that, you know, but yeah. trying to keep the balance as much as I can. And hopefully I will be able to keep it, you know, because when I feel that I lost the balance, I will definitely choose the family over the music, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, so I'm trying to do to keep the balance, yeah. So um, I thank you very much for such uh, open interview and you. uh, for your answers. Yes. And uh, maybe a few words for your trans family. Um, guys, I miss you so much and I'm so happy that I'm here. Uh, finally back in Ukraine, in Kiev. So enjoy it. I hope you will love the show tonight. And maybe we can bring FSOE and all the crew next year here in Ukraine. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, let's thank do you. it.